Four warning signs you're dating a loser. Advice for avoiding a bad relationship. Be wary of those you date, especially a loser, to prevent having a terrible relationship. Hello, I'm SCG and welcome to my channel. This video is officially sponsored by BetterHelp. Get 10% off your first month in the description down below. The loser has permanent personality characteristics that create damage. Emotional, social, psychological damage in a romantic relationship. They can be of any race, religion, any age group too, unfortunately. The loser brings every single person around them down to their low standards, bad behavior and outlook on life. I've dated a loser. I've known many who have dated losers as well. There is no saving the loser, sadly. No amount of love, compassion, empathy, advice from the other romantic partner will change anything for the better. There is a large amount of arrogance and delusion that comes from the mind of the loser. I'm the best, they'll say. No, they're not. I always get what I want. Seriously? I'm perfect as I am. There's no such thing as perfection. I'm special. Sure you are. I've always done things my way. Of course they have. The loser I once dated genuinely tried to make excuses for not having a job, a career, a business or any real prospects. Why work when I can just get everything paid for by my parents and you if we get married, she said. The empathetic and compassionate person sees a very damaged and hurt person when they look at a loser, which has elements of truth behind that assessment. But these people are not a project. You are not their therapist. Not that they'd listen to you anyway or want to change their life to improve. Yes, the loser is happy being a loser. Here are four warning signs you really need to look out for. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification so you never miss any of these videos. Typically, the loser has a history of failed relationships. They seem to jump from one person to the next. They might be blessed with good looks. They might find attracting people very easy. But long story short, these people romantically are a complete and utter disaster. As they hop from partner to partner, relationship to relationship until the other person is driven insane by the loser or actually the loser just destroys the whole thing entirely mark had a history of failed relationship it was always on to the next one for him the next woman next relationship next love and so on he was a good looking guy he was charming when you first met him but once you got to know him personally he was a nightmare working a terrible job with no ambition. He never knew even how to use a bank card. He carried cash in a plastic bag. He never owned a wallet. He lacked intelligence, culture, substance. He had no desire to learn or improve or grow up. They would be attracted to him. Women would say to him, oh, you're really cute and find his peccadilloes charming. But then a few weeks into dating him, the incompetency, immaturity, was just draining. He once went out on a date with an accomplished, career-driven, smart, attractive woman. She found him hot until she noticed how he conducted himself. Then she was humiliated. Have you ever wanted to settle down? She asked. I'm way too young to think about that. Plus, I've got too many things going on. He had nothing going on. And Mark was 45, by the way. If they cannot even have a healthy relationship, despite their flaws, they're a loser. Avoid them at all costs. If you're enjoying this video, please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm and support my channel by becoming an official member. The link for memberships is in the description below. Losers will put you down and belittle your opinions and achievements at any opportunity, in any way, any given time. They're ready to strike you down on almost any subject and cause an almighty 
fight, debate and destroy your confidence. I used to date a loser, like I said, and in the past I suffered an addiction for gambling for years, which was destroying me, my finances and life overall. Finally, after saying enough was enough, I made a vow to quit and I became sober and I've stayed that way since. I'll never forget turning to my partner at the time and sharing the news. I've quit gambling. It's over. What a relief, I said. And, she asked, I'm sober. This is it. I haven't gambled in weeks now. I don't desire gambling. I'm really proud of myself, I said. That really isn't a big deal. People don't gamble every day. I don't see why you've got to make a big fuss about that. She didn't care. She never emphasised. This was a woman who actually, in some weird, sadistic way, enjoyed me gambling. Because it created more tension, drama and stress. What a loser I was for gambling. And what a loser she was for belittling me. Remember, if you date a loser, you'll end up having a very bad and unhealthy relationship. They should be your teammate, your number one fan, your support, your lover, your best friend. Instead, if you end up dating the loser, they'll end up becoming your enemy, your rival, your hater, the number one critic. Is that what you want? Trust me on this. They'll belittle you, anything you do, even good things, even stuff that benefit them, because they're losers. Thanks to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. I've personally used BetterHelp and found it to be so effective for turning my life around for the better. BetterHelp is therapy online, which offers weekly sessions via phone, video and live chat. You get matched with a therapist according to where you are, what you're looking for, and what you need help with. If it's not a great fit, you can switch therapists easily. Therapy is a great way to take care of ourselves mentally, just like we try to do so physically through diet and exercise. Online therapy can teach you valuable life coping skills and support you amazingly when tough times occur. Click the link below or visit betterhelp.com forward slash SCG show for 10% off your first month of online therapy today. Go ahead and take that first step to turning your life around with better help. Losers will never make an effort to keep promises or follow through on commitments. Here are some real world typical promises a loser will make. I promise I'll help around the house. I promise I'll make more of an effort with you. I promise I'll try harder to listen. I promise to not drink as much anymore. I promise I'll make more of an effort with the family. I promise I'll start eating healthy. I promise I'll quit smoking. I promise I'll help you with the cooking. I promise I'll do whatever you ask of me. Anna dated a loser for years and she almost ended up turning into his parent more than his girlfriend. He let her down constantly. He made fake promises all the time. He'd say something and never do it. Anna was at breaking point. She decided to test him and see if he would follow up on a simple task. She said, it's about time you passed your driving test and got a car. You know you promised you were going to do so. And he said the following, of course, I need a car and to drive us too, rather than you drive me all the time. I'll do it, don't worry. This guy was in his 30s, by the way, and had never bothered to drive at all. He prolonged everything as much as possible. He refused to take any lessons. He kept on making excuses. And in three years, he just about passed this theory test. And that was about it. By that stage, Anna had enough. Three years to pass a driving test, for her, was utterly embarrassing. Even with something basic and simple like that, a loser will let you down. And they'll let themselves down in the process without realising it. That is how they manage and maintain their life. Losers are irresponsible. And with money they're irresponsible and they make bad decisions. You can't have a mature relationship with a man-child or a woman who acts like a spoiled teenager. In the past, 
I dated an irresponsible loser. She told me, I'm going to a dangerous area. If you don't hear back from me by 6 p.m., call the police. And that was it. I called her, nothing, called the police, and I had no address, had no idea where she was. By midnight, stressed and frustrated, I finally heard back from her and she said, Sorry, my phone died. LOL. I was furious, but that was my fault for dating an irresponsible loser. Remember Mark, the guy who was attractive but hot from relationship to relationship? He doesn't know his pin code. He blows money on stupid things and he's got no savings, but he's super stingy sometimes when it's things he doesn't understand. He's irresponsible with his money. And losers will make bad decisions on everything. How to respond and react in tough situations. How to treat you and other people close to them. With their careers, if they even have a job or a business. And with their health, with smoking, drugs and so on. They lack just even basic intelligence. Hence why they carry on making such bad and dangerous decisions. The closer you get to them, such as dating them, the more these decisions will affect you and your life. Trust me, it's unavoidable.